what's up guys welcome back to another video and today we're back in the steam deck lcd with our mark 9 bag plate um the video is not about the mark 9 we made some changes to this bad boy and it all has to do with this oculink port right here i went ahead and removed our m.2 adapters and the oculink port is directly connected to the main board of the steam deck and this redesign is because I did find this USB Type-C 3.1 flash drive on Amazon and it allows up to 400 megabits read-write, which means we can run an OS off of it fairly easy without any lag like you would get on a micro SSD and it would be similar to having a USB uh, to SSD connector, which I've been rocking for Windows for this whole time. So this is the reason why I redesigning this backplate again the mark 11 that's what i'm going to call this because there is technically a mark 10 uh, the mark 11 is pretty much the same as the nine but we removed the caddy uh, did some changes to the fan shroud for the external fan uh, and then our glory hole is just a little tiny little thing and that is only for the oculink port uh, we do not need to swap out ssds anymore because of that usb c drive that we got on amazon one huge upgrade is as you can see this matte finish in the back and a glossy on the inside we didn't change materials we painted this thing with plastidip and now it has a great finish with a grippy surface which i think feels and looks great now we're going to remove the old the Mark 9 backplate, and we're going to pop in the Mark 11. So, should just pop on just like the other one, and boy, your boy did it. Perfect fit, near perfect fit. It's actually a little off, off by a millimeter on the right hand side, but it, it will be serviceable. And doesn't that just look nice and clean? That is a beautiful looking setup right there. But just like in the Mark 9, we do need a fan. I made some changes to this fan. It now has a power on and off switch just because this, this fan gets loud. It gets loud. And it slides in just like it did in the Mark 9. And you need this because, remember, the SOC does not have that heat shield anymore. So we have to keep that cool. And we have to do that externally, unfortunately. That rhymed. To allow this whole thing to work, we're gonna need a dongle. This is an anchor dongle. I forgot the model number, but it was one of the cheaper ones that have up to, I believe, 75 watt PD, which is exactly what we need. It's actually more than what we need for our Steam Deck. And mainly because this thing has a USB-C port and two extra USB-A's with a HDMI port that we're not gonna need. But it fits like very snugly, very thin on the back plate. I was actually planning on redesigning it so to accommodate this but you know to be honest it was going to be a pain to mount it so we're going to use sticky tape to put it on you know bring it back to the jank days and honestly i don't it doesn't look bad when you just glue it on it looks pretty clean looks pretty sleek and i'm not a big 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 i don't care i just don't care it doesn't bother me so if it bothers you um Good thing this isn't your Steam Deck because it's mine and I really don't care. And, and a good thing about this uh, sticky tape is that that vent mod that we did gets blocked a little bit with the dongle. And because it is propped up with sticky tape, we have about a millimeter gap between it and the back shell. So it actually is functionally well um, with this back plate. And it, to me, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. And it coils so well. And man it's a it's it doesn't add any weight really i did grab these um, adapters but it actually just fits better with its uh, standard adapter and again with these adapters you have to remember some they say all these things on there but sometimes you do not get the full amount of data or the power um i did these things like a dollar fifty from aliexpress so be mindful that it might not give you the exact data that it says it does but that's pretty much it pretty much how it's gonna look and it's good, looks great in the hand, and let's just power it on to make sure that everything works properly. If you can't tell, I am dubbing over my original footage because your boy did not hit record on the audio and I'm not, I can't be bothered to reshoot it. So I tested the Oculus port because that's the whole reason for this backplate and everything works well. Windows had no problem booting off this USB drive, but I did forget the password to this one. 
um, or it changed and I don't I don't know what's going on but for the most part everything is working great as intended and uh, stay tuned because the reason for this backplate is because we are doing a redesign um, for our mothership and we needed a backplate that could accommodate our oculink port very cleanly the old, old one could have done it no problem but you know what we we can make it a little bit better more sleeker no bump out and so that's the reason for this video so this is a quick update video on the mark 11 um stay tuned for the new mothership there's going to be two versions of the mothership there's going to be one stationary and there's going to be one portable i'm pretty excited about this project because it was in the back of my mind for quite a while and then i got busy with you know life and my child and Hell divers too. <laughs> but other than that, guys, please, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit subscribe to stay tuned for what's coming up next. And um, I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.